Hello YouTube. Hello. What's up? Well, today it is, it is uh, time for another fragrance battle, and this time we will confront two beasts, Yop Om and Lemal. Both these both bottles are from my brother, and uh, these fragrances actually get uh, a lot of love or a lot of uh, hate, and. Uh, are really uh, good fragrances but some people say they are too popular, too synthetic, too um, I don't know, too uh, popular so a lot of people wear them but I still find them great fragrances and we will confront them to see which one is better I find them to be both perfect for clubbing uh, because they are sillage monsters and well let's see which one will uh, win Okay, let's smell. We all we already know how this smell like very good, but yes. okay. Just to remind us. Yes, just to remind ourselves. Le mal. What do you get out of it? How do you like it? Where do you wear it? I wear it uh, in different occasions. Uh, it could be worn uh, uh, to college, uh, to uh, when I'm going out, uh, or just. Um, and on an ordinary day because it's pleasant smell uh, it goes from winter uh, to spring days or even summer nights uh, it just uh, so so pleasant as I said uh, it's very sweet uh, I uh, get a great uh, silicon uh, projection and it lasts very uh, long on my skin and it's uh, so nice uh, some people said uh, say it's uh, too too ordinary too uh, how would I say too in common mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's very very nice and because of this it is one of the classics for sure well what I get from Lamal is definitely that mint and lavender in the opening and wonderful vanilla in the dry down. I agree that it is maybe synthetic but it's still nice, it uh, smells great and I actually uh, it don't smell it on a lot of people in my area. I don't know if you agree no, but maybe. actually it is pretty unique in our area and I don't smell it on every other guy. They use I think uh, Aqua di Gio or one million more often than yes. this one. This one actually is pretty rare and I like it very much. It is pleasant and it is uh, quite versatile. I can see this one uh, in summer as he already said in summer nights but in cold winter days also. So how uh, would you rate this one? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for you. Okay. It's one of my favorites. It's well when I'm considering other fragrances I will give it nine and a half out of ten just to leave a little bit space for something else and one legendary fragrance of Om you really have to have a sweet tooth for these two fragrances they are extremely sweet very very sweet and your home is even more is even sweeter than Le Mal, I think well uh, Le Mal is uh, a monster of fragrance, but uh, this is even a more intense fragrance than yes. Le Mal. Uh, this is very sweet. I don't know, uh, for my nose it's uh, maybe not uh, sweeter than Le Mal, but as I said more intense. Uh, there is uh, something uh, pretty heavy in this uh, fragrance uh, that could be uh, a little bit irritant to noses that uh, like Lemal, but uh, this one doesn't promise uh, to be liked uh, from but many. Well, yes, I also think so. Uh, it's um, more for winter. Uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine uh, wearing it in uh, summer nights as I would uh, Lemal, because it's uh, it has uh, some. Uh, heavy, heavy 
sweetness. Yes, I agree. This one is um, heavier than Le Mal, definitely. And uh, I think it even maybe performs a little bit better than Le Mal. Maybe definitely. its uh, projection is even stronger than, uh, Le, than the one of Le Mal. But uh, also I find it uh, very... Uh, it is very sweet. But uh, on the other hand, it is very pleasant sweetness. Uh, you really have to uh, love sweet, very sweet fragrances to like this one. But if you like sweet fragrances, you should give this one a try. Don't believe what other people say. It's too synthetic. It's garbage. It's trash. I don't know. Uh, I think it's nice and it is also pretty unique. I don't see a lot of people uh, people wearing this one. Maybe because uh, you really uh, have to... Um, it, it is pretty hard actually to love this one, but uh, when you actually uh, start loving it, I can see you wearing it for the rest of your life. Exactly. I don't know, when you first uh, tried this one, did you like it? Yes, I like it, and uh, I must mention, when I first tried this, uh, on my hand, I woke up in the middle of the night smelling this. This fragrance woke me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> this is a monster. So, uh, you yes. can imagine how uh, much uh, silage and uh, power it has. Yes, it really is a monster, but uh, my story is a little bit different. When I first tried it, I was just in the beginning of th this hobby and this little passion I have, and I really didn't like it. My uh, nose uh, wasn't uh, used to that kind of sweetness, that kind of heavy sweetness, and I said, oh man, why? This is... I, this doesn't smell right, this something's wrong with it. But the more fragrances I smelled, the more I uh, understood its quality, its uniqueness, and uh, how good it actually smells like. So, how would you rate this one? I would rate it also 10 out of 10 because it's uh, one of my uh, favorites too. And, uh, and I must mention it's one of the first uh, fragrances for men that were that sweet. <laughs> and uh, it's still one of the best sweet fragrances for men. Well, yeah, this is pr actually pretty old. I think it hit the shelves in 1989. Yes. So, but it, smil it, it still smells uh, quite uh, modern. It's not old-fashioned, definitely. Yes, it's an old-time classic. Yes, and I would rate this one if Le Mal is 9 out of 9.5. This one is, well, 9 out of 10 just because I prefer Le Mal a little bit just a little bit and if you had they are both 10 out of 10 but per, for the purposes of this video which one would you choose I don't know to be the really. winner of today's it's video it's really hard uh, if I must decide it would be uh, Le Mal just because uh, when uh, it can be worn it is more versatile yes uh, through whole year you can wear it but uh, your poem it uh, really cannot be uh, worn in uh, some uh, warmer, weather. warmer weather just because of it but uh, uh -huh. how they smell they are uh, the same to you. They are same okay. and they're very good. And well, it seems like we agreed again. I also think Le Mal is just a little bit better and I prefer just a little bit, little bit better its uh, smell and it is more versatile so Today winner is Le Mal. Let me know what you think about these fragrances. Comment down below. Uh, give them a try if you haven't already. There are two legendary fragrances that you at least have to try. If You don't have to like it, but you have to try it if you are in this hobby. And see you soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Keep enjoying uh, your fragrances. Smell well. Bye. Bye.